was not a choice of which American to bring home. Really. Ovid, it clearly was a choice. And we know it was a choice. Because the, the choice first should have been the soldier. The prisoner swap with Russia said it was. You a idiot. Choice. Earlier today, Andrea Mitchell of NBC, this is someone who's been in Washington covering news for more than 50 years, someone who was deeply supportive of the Joe Biden administration, contributed to a story that contains this line quote, The Kremlin gave the White House the choice of either Griner or Whelan, or none. So, Mitchell's piece attributed this fact to a, quote, senior U.S. official. It was not a guess. It was sourced. And then, Thanks, Tucker. as with the early reporting on Paul Pelosi last month, that account was scrubbed and sanitized. And the new version of the NBC story assures us that, quote, the Kremlin ultimately gave the White House the choice of either Griner or no one. In other words, Joe Biden's version of events is now perfectly in sync with the official NBC News version of events. Of course. And we missed them. A writer on Substack called Jordan Schachtel noticed it, and we're glad that he did. This kind of thing happens all the time in Washington, constantly, usually without the public knowing that it happened. So at this point, we can assume the obvious. The Biden administration chose Brittany Griner over Paul Whelan the basketball player over the Marine facing 16 years. There was only room for Who's one, the life for and the Marine now. got left behind. Well, why'd they make that choice? Well, you should know that Whalen is a Trump voter, and he made the mistake of saying so on social media. He's paying the price for that now. Brittany Griner is not. She's got very different politics. Brittany Griner despises the United States. She's been very vocal about that. This country is so repellent and immoral that two years ago she said, quote, I honestly feel we should not play the national anthem during our basketball season. She hates the country so much she doesn't want to hear its anthem. So why is she That's bad? the kind of position that gets you rewarded by Joe Biden. Hate America? Perfect! We'll free the guy who sold weapons to drug cartels to get you out early. So there's that. And then there's the matter of identity, which is central to equity. Brittany Greiner is not white, and she's a lesbian. Now, those facts might seem irrelevant to you. We hope they do seem irrelevant, because they are. But they're not irrelevant to the White House press secretary. In the view of the White House press secretary, those are essential qualifications for a prisoner swap. Watch. We came to either bring Brittany home or it's no cream poopy in my hair. As the president said this morning, he will, he will never stop working to secure Paul's release and return home. And yeah, okay. he will not give up. On a personal is. note, Brittany is more than an athlete, more than an Olympi Olympian. She is an important role model and inspiration to millions oh, yeah, she's of brilliant. Americans, particularly the LGBTQI plus Americans and the ones that want to carry drugs. She should never have been detained by Russia. Thank you so for watching. there's Joe Biden's press secretary telling you that Brittany Griner is important because she's a lesbian woman of color. And by the way, so am I. That's what she said. Now, how perverse is that? You hear that kind of stuff? Please subscribe. How perverse is it? And well, hit that bell. Imagine a press secretary from the last every administration. Day. Say, Thank Spicer, you, patriots, for watching. Pausing in the middle of a briefing to tell you that, quote, God bless, I'll see you tomorrow. It is and thrilling when don't a straight forget to white subscribe. man out of prison. What would you think of that? You'd probably see that Have you hit as that an subscribe yet? against the idea of Do the rule it. of law. Against the hit idea that, that country we're all button. treated equally because we're all citizens. Call on all patriots. Because they don't believe in abstract principles. So they're 100% behind that idea. Here's Van Jones on CNN. It just shows uh, this president got it done. Uh, he cared enough about this individual person to get her home. It was shocking. for the, I think for young Americans to see an icon like that snatched, locked up, what you don't have and what you can't allow to happen is to have a black female icon mm -hmm. treated like garbage and America do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Something was done about it and people are going to be proud about that. Oh, yeah, we're real uh, proud. So it's not that you can't have an American mistreated by a foreign government. Where's Whoopi at? What has she got to say in the view? Mistreated by a foreign government. Nothing, See that? Huh? Where are you they? You get rights based on what color you are, what sexual orientation you are. But that's not. She's silent person. now because she opened or her big mouth too much. Or should ever work. That's immoral. Sue Scheller has spent virtually all of his adult life as a Marine Corps All right, I don't watch the view anyway. God bless. See you later.